सो देर आर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट नेशनल पार्क विच हैव बीन देर इन यूज ऑन द प्रिंजेस ऑफ द भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क एंड इको सेंसिटिव जोन हैज बीन प्रपोज बाय द सेंटर फॉर द विलेजेस इट फॉर्म्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जोन इट इज अ सेकेंड साइड फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिसा आफ्टर चिलिका लेक चिलिका वॉज द फर्स्ट वन टू बी डिक्लेयर लेटर ऑन बिकॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइगर्स वर ऑल्सो फाउंड द बांदीपुर नेशनल पार्क वॉज ऑल्सो डिक्लेयर एज टाइगर रिजर्व लॉर्ड ऑफ डेसिडो ट्रीज यू हैव मॉनसून फॉरेस्ट यू हैव टीक यू हैव रेड सैंडल वोड यू हैव हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू पी डब्ल्यू ओनली आई एस इंग्लिश चैनल आई एम डिम्पल नानकानी द फैकल्टी ऑफ जोग्रफी एंड एनवायरमेंट इन टाइटन बैचेस वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑफ अ सीरीज विच इज हेल्पफुल फॉर योर प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इन द प्रीवियस सीरीज वी हैव कवर्ड द लेक्चर्स लाइक द फ्लोर ऑफ इंडिया फोन ऑफ इंडिया द वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन इंडिया टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द नेशनल पार्क इन इंडिया सो देर आर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट नेशनल पार्क विच हैव बीन देर इन न्यूज वन ऑफ देम दैट हैज बीन देर इन न्यूज इज भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क नाउ वट वाई इट हैज बीन इन न्यूज बिकॉज सेंटर हैज प्रपोज अ इको सेंसिटिव जोन फॉर द विलेजेस ऑन द फ्रिंजेस ऑफ द भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क सो दिस इज भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क ऑन द फ्रिंजेस ऑफ द भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क एंड इको सेंसिटिव जोन हैज बीन प्रपोज बाय द सेंटर फॉर द विलेजेस सो नाउ वी शुड नो समथिंग अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट भीतर कनिका नेशनल पार्क वेयर इज इट इट इज देयर इन द केंद्र पारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ओडिसा इट इज सराउंडेड बाय अ बिग सेंचुरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी दैट इज भीतर कनिका वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इट इज ऑल्सो हैज मरीन सेंचुरी गहीर माता गहीर माता बीच अराउंड इट्स विच ऑन द कोस्टल रीजन सो गहीर माता बीच भीतर कनिका वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एज वेल एज मरीन सेंचुरी इट ऑल्सो लाई इन द एस्चूरियल रीजन सो वॉट इज एस्चूरियल रीजन सपोज दिस इज द कोस्ट सपोज दिस इज द कोस्ट दिस वन ऑन द राइट साइड वी हैव लेट से द वॉटर रिसोर्सेस ओके सो दिस इज द वॉटर रिसोर्सेज दिस इज द ओशन नाउ वेन द रिवर एनी रिवर विच डिरेक्टली मीट द ओशन it forms a very important zone ecotone zone that we call as estuary so bhitar kanika uh, wildlife sanctuary or the bhitar kanika national park is in this ecotone wherein two important rivers that is your uh, brahmani and betarni okay they are draining into the bay of bengal towards the eastern side and they are forming your estuaries estuaries is a very is an ecotone where there is brackish water the marine water and the fresh water they meet as the different type of waters are meeting it becomes rich zone economic uh, eco sensitive zone it becomes ecologically a very uh, good zone a very important zone it is habitat for birds it, it has lot of uh, carbon sequestration properties so it has wetlands so similarly you have this as in the ecotone zone where brahmani and betarni they meet the ocean and this on this you also have your bhitar kanika national park now the center has declared an eco center sensitive zone along the bhitar kanika national park bhitar kanika national park is also a ramsar site okay it it is a second site from the state of odisha after chilika lake chilika was the first one to be declared the rivers that drain in this uh, wildlife sanctuary and the national park is we know brahmani and betarni apart from that you also have dhamra and you also have a uh, patshala river so dhamra river and the patshala river so this was the first one that is your bhitar kanika national park the second that we have in news is uh, bandipur national park why this has been in news because there was a protest going on around this national park because a railway line was passing so because a railway line was uh, there was a plan for a railway line to pass through this which will connect two different places nilambur in kerala to uh, nanjagudi in karnataka so nilambur in kerala and nanjagudi in karnataka they were connected they were supposed to be connected by railway now the railway was passing through this national park and therefore there was protest obviously this is a debate of environment versus development which goes on that how much development should accommodate the needs of environment and how much environment or how much development should be the towards your environment friendly so this is a debate that how much should we support environment how much are we under the compulsions of development there's a debate and this is an example of that debate the example of the people protesting for that now you should know about bhitar uh, bandipur national park if i talk about bandipur national park this is basically including the forest areas of uh, venu gopal wildlife sanctuary or the wildlife park so it was established forest areas of the venu gopal uh, forest park was included and that was extended and then this 
Bandipur National uh, Park was declared. Later on, because a lot of tigers were also found, so the, the Bandipur National Park was also declared as Tiger Reserves under the project Tiger in 1973. So it was also declared as the Tiger Reserve in 1973. Where is it? We know that it is located in Karnataka. We also know that it is a part of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. A biosphere Reserve is a big area which includes a lot of national park. One of the Biosphere Reserve, that is Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, includes this national park, that is Bandipur National Park. So it's a part of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. And we know that Nilgiri is lying at the tri junction of Kerala, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. So this also this national park also lies at the tri junction of Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. On surrounding of the Bandipur National Parks, you have other national parks and tiger reserves like you have a Mudumulai Tiger Reserve, that's in Tamil Nadu. You have Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary, that's in Kerala. You also have Nagarhod Tiger Reserve, that is in Karnataka. So, by Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve includes a lot of other national parks. You have Nagarhod National Park Tiger Reserves, you have Mudumulai, you have Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. So, they are also there. So, obviously, they will be surrounding the Bandipur National Park. Park. The rivers that separates Bandipur Tiger Reserve from Nagar Ho Tiger Reserve is Kabini. Kabini separates Bandipur from Nagar Ho. So on one side you can write N K B. Okay, so Kabini is between Nagar Ho and it is between Bandipur. Or you can also say B K N. That river Kabini is between Bandipur and Nagar Ho Tiger Reserve. While there is Moyar River to the south. To the south, you have Moyar River, that is M. Okay, to the south. And you also have Nugu River. So, you Nugu River to the north, Moyar River to the south. On one side, you have Bandipur. On one side, you have the Nagarhod. And in between, you have the Kabini River, that is flowing. So, you can draw some pictures and you can memorize that or you can use some mnemonics. Now, this was about the Bandipur National Park. If I talk about the flora and fauna, there are flora you have lot of deciduous trees, you have monsoon forest, you have teak, you have red sandalwood, you have uh, red rosewood, you have uh, Indian laurel. So these are monsoonal forests. So you'll have teak, you'll have rosewood, you have sandalwood, you have Indian laurel, you have kinu tree, the giant clumping bamboos also are there. So these are the floras that you have. If I talk about the fauna that we have, you have the elephant. The Asiatic elephant is found here, the Asiatic wild elephant which is endangered. The other species you have bear, you you have gores, you have rock pythons, jackals, mugger, antelope, lizards, etc. So lizards, bears and uh, elephant etc. are there. So this is about the flora and the fauna that you see in the Bandipur National Park. Agarwood, this we've also covered before but we'll revise it again because this has been there in news uh, or for a different purpose. So if I talk about this one, you have if I talk about this one, that is your Mukurti National Park. The heading is uh, Mukurti National Park. So we have Mukurti National Park. Now what has happened in the Mukurti National Park? There have been experts. Okay, the experts, they say that the uh, project Nilgiri Thar. Nilgiri Thar is a... Uh, the fauna that you see along Nilgiri, so Nilgiri Thar. So there is a project to conserve the Nilgiri Thar. So experts say that this project, the project Nilgiri Thar is helping Tamil Nadu Forest Department for conservation of this national park in Nilgiri. So we know that in Nilgiri you have, in Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, you have one national park, that is Mukurti National Park. And now when the efforts have been taken to protect Nilgiri Thar uh, fauna, it is helping not just the fauna alone, it is helping all of the ecosystem, it is helping all of the national park, Mukurti national parks. We know that this happens in your ecology, that everything is connected to everything else. If you disturb one part, the other parts get disturbed. If you help one part, the other parts get helped. We know the relations of commensalism, momentalism, the competition. So that works in ecology, that works in an ecosystem. So that's what experts are also pointing out, that by conserving a fauna, a very important fauna, a keystone species, Nilgiritar, it is helping the entire national park that is Mukurti National Park. Now if I want to know about Mukurti National Park, where does it lie? It lies on the western corner of Nilgiri Plateau, therefore towards the northwestern part of Tamil Nadu. So part of Nilgiri Hills and other things. It was this this uh, the project that was done, the project Nilgiri Thar. It was done to protect Nilgiri Thar. It was created in 1993, uh, 1990. Uh, there are rivers also that 
Mukurti National Park se pass hoti hai. There are rivers that pass through Mukurti National Parks. You have uh, Paikara, you have Kunda River that will pass through Mukurti National Parks apart from uh, Bhavani Puza. So the Bhavani Puza is a major river. So you have other rivers also like you have uh, Paikara, you have Kunda and you have Bhavani Puza. If you should know about, if, if you have to talk about uh, Mukurti National Park, you should also know that this has also been declared as a part of UNESCO's World Heritage Site in uh, 2012. Nilgiri is also declared as a part of UNESCO's World Heritage Site in, two in 2012. We know that the fauna, that the flora that you have is the deciduous trees, the monsoonal forest, you have teak, you have sandalwood. So similarly, you will have montane grasslands as well. You will have shrublands also, apart from the vegetation that is, that is there. You have uh, these of the important... Uh, flora, you have cinnamon, you have rhododendrons, these are there, you also have raspberries, it is famous for raspberries and it is uh, it is home to Nilgiri Thar, Indian elephants, uh, Nilgiri Langur, Bengal tiger, so fauna is there as well as flora is there, the fauna you have elephant, you have tigers, you have Thar, that's uh, there, you have rhinoceros, you have macaque, not rhinoceros, you have macaque and various other things that you have, if I talk about Kazi Ranga, this is the place where you have rhinoceros. If I talk about Kazi Ranga National Park, uh, the world two third of the rhinoceros uh, are seen along Kazi Ranga National Park, as well as you have other national park that is Pobitaro National Park that also has rhinoceros. So if I talk about Kazi Ranga National Park, this has been there in news because this has earned the distinction of being the second butterfly diversity hub. Okay, so there is there's lot of biodiversity here. It is the second biodiversity hub for the butterfly. The first biodiversity hub, hub for the butterfly is Namdafa that is there in Arunachal Pradesh. So that's the first one. So it has been declared the second one. This is the first butterfly hotspot region. The second one is your Kaziranga. Now it has been declared. Uh, why it has been declared? Because new butterfly species have been uh, seen. You have banded flat. Uh, yellow banded flat butterfly, you have yellow oinks, you have long winged the butterfly, so you have long winged butterfly, these many butterflies have been seen. The contribution has been by, this contribution has been by uh, the Jyoti, Mr. Dr. Jyoti Gogoi, she that has been studying the butterflies in the park so this this record has been attributed to this person and now we know that apart from the other uh, fauna that you have. You have rhinoceros, you have elephants, you have buffaloes, you have tigers, you have swam deers, you also have butterfly in the Kaziranga National Park. Take so this is uh, then it was also in there in news because there was a meet, there was a butterfly conservation meet that was taking place in 2024. This was the first ever butterfly conservation meet that was also held in the park where a lot of butterfly enthusiasts have passed, uh, have been a part of this meet. If I talk about Kaziranga National Park, Kaziranga National Park has also been part of UNESCO's World Heritage Site since 1985. So this is very important that you should know. Uh, the location, you know that it's in the state of Assam. It is lying between Brahmaputra River on one side and the Mikir Hills on the other side. So you have Brahmaputra River and the Mikir Hill on one side. The river, Brahm not only river Brahmaputra passes, but also various other tributaries of Brahmaputra, they also pass through it. Or the small rivers that we have, so Brahmaputra flows. The local streams you have the Flu River, you have Mora the Flu River, you have Mora Dansri River. They also pass through this national park. If I talk about the fauna, we have lot of fauna that we know. You have gibbon, you have tiger, you have rhinoceros, you have elephants. You have lot of fauna there, and now it is also it is also one of the largest pop it has largest population of one horned rhinoceros that we know now it is also known for the butterfly biodiversity then the next in news is baner ghatta biological park so baner ghatta biological park that we have it is the country's first and the country's largest leopard safari was inaugurated here so the country's first and the largest safari was inaugurated here in the baner ghatta national uh, bio bio biological park you so what was this safari? First leopard safari has been there. The country's first leopard safari. Now if I have to know the status of leopard, the status of leopard is that uh, it is vulnerable as per the IUCN red list. It is mentioned in cities appendix 1. It is also mentioned in schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act. So first leopard safari that is there in the Pane Ghatta biological park. 
we we have already studied about leopard but then you should know more that if i talk about leopard it is one of the widespread leopard is one of the smallest of the big cat despite being sw small it is quite big it prefers rocky terrain it prefers dry deciduous terrain it also can it also can survive in different type of ecosystem so it is a smallest one it is a nocturnal animal you don't generally see them in the uh, you know daylight you'll see them in the early morning hours on the or later evenings it feeds on the smaller species of the herbivores it feeds on deer boar chital hawk they have the capacity to adapt to the lot of environments you can see them in dry deciduous forest you can see them in the rocky terrain even in the forest the somewhat dense forest you'll see them but they prefer dry areas they are strong they are agile okay they can climb the tree that is there and they are also can take their prey they can also take their prey to the tree so that it is they don't have to share it okay so joey and leopards do not like to share their food right so baner ghatta national park something more about the baner ghatta national park something more about baner ghatta national park where is it it is situated along karnataka in the hills of the anekal range it was established in 1974 what rivers passed river swarnamukhi passes through and this is one of the main source of the water that is there for the biological park swarnamukhi river it's there in karnataka that we know if i talk about baner ghatta biological park it was carved out of baner ghatta national park uh, and and brought under the zoo authority of karnataka so the it is coming under zoo zoo authority of karnataka that is a state authority there it has been the first biological park in india uh, to have fenced to have a fenced forested elephant sanctuary so the elephant sanctuary is completely fenced and it is one of the first one of the first it is one it is the first one to have this the biological park they have lot they have what other divisions they have zoo they have safari they have butterfly park they also have rescue centers okay there's a valley of hill that is uh, champaka dhamma hills is there in the valley is there in this biological park the baner ghatta biological park it has also been classified as the first butterfly enclosure so butterfly enclosure was also inaugurated here in this park so it has zoo it has safaris it has also has the enclosures it has uh, butterfly parks also so this is there in the baner ghatta biological park okay now safari has been uh, uh, leopard safari has been started therefore this has been there in the news so this is what we have for today your national parks in news we'll come up with more videos stay connected with us all of you be thank you for being a part of our channel and i am sure that these videos will help you revise your concept and re uh, also they will come uh, there are questions that can come in your examination so stay connected all of you thank you uh, for trusting us and being a part of us